Friends, last week we talked about discipleship. We said that a Christian disciple is one who learns and receives the faith and adheres to the teachings of Christ. Today, allow me to offer you some notes on how we will be able to increase the faith we have received at baptism. Faith, like hope and charity, is a theological virtue. It is called such because we receive faith only through divine grace at baptism. The Catechism defines faith as the theological virtue by which we believe in God and believe all that He has said and revealed to us because God is truth Himself. We can say, therefore, that faith is both knowledge and trust. One who receives and adheres to the faith seeks to know more about God, to do God's will, and do it with trust. He or she commits his or her life to God. Now, since faith is a gift, St. Paul warns us that we might lose it too. If so, what shall we do so that we can keep it? The Catechism recommends that we always live grow and persevere in the faith, and be nourished with God's Word. It further tells us to always ask or beg the Lord to increase our faith, just like the early disciples. It would do us well also, the Catechism adds, to work through charity, abounding in hope, and rooted in the faith of the Church. Now, we said earlier that growth in faith is needed so that we might not lose the gift. How can we grow in faith? There are three things that we could do. Read, pray, love. Friends, knowledge is important. So first, we must know the content of our faith. But how will we know our faith or what we profess and believe in? By reading and studying the scriptures, the Catechism, and the other teachings of the Church. The Bible contains the living Word of God consigned into writing. The Catechism of the Catholic Church, on the other hand, is one tool that contains the living tradition of the Church. The Bible nourishes us with the Word of God, while the Catechism explains the fundamental teachings of the Church based on Scripture and tradition. I encourage you, brothers and sisters, to spend time reading and meditating on the scriptures and the catechism frequently, because through them, the Lord speaks to us. If knowledge is important, so is communication with God. Hence, we need to allot time for prayer. When we pray, we listen to God and respond to Him as our Father. He wants us to tell Him what is in our hearts, for as St. Peter tells us, He cares for us. Praying, however, is not limited to personal prayers. As part of the Church, the community of believers, we should also join public prayer, our liturgical celebrations, and receive the sacraments. The sacraments which were instituted by Christ Himself are vessels of grace that dispose us to continue living and growing in faith. Now, in order for us to really live the faith that we profess, we must put it into action. Faith in action. How do we do this? The Catechism tells us living faith works through charity. Let us do all things with love and for the love of God and neighbor. We could learn well from Mother Teresa of Calcutta who once said, the fruit of faith is love, the fruit of love is service. Is our faith seen and felt in our actions, dear friends? We must remember that God is love. He commands us to love as He has loved us in Jesus. 
Hence, as believers, we are also disciples of love. There you go, my dear brothers and sisters. Journeying through this season of growth in faith and prayer, may we never fail to read the scripture that nourishes us, to pray or commune with God who cares for us, and to translate our faith into love and service of neighbor.